everyone, it's Elaine, and welcome back to my channel. Boy, have things been busy around here. It's just like sometimes there's so much to do. In a couple of weeks, I have my retreat coming that I co-host, and I'm so excited. It's mostly junk journalers, so it's a lot of fun when those women all get together with their creativity. I can't wait. And hopefully this year, I've got a couple little things planned. Um, I've never seen them anywhere before, so I've been working hard. And uh, and I, uh, I'm kind of ready to get it behind me, but don't tell anybody, okay? Anyhow, what I have been working on are these books. Now, how many of you start a project, you do a little bit to it, you put it aside, you look at it, you say, hmm, I need to do that. You walk away from it. You come back. Yeah. Well, that's what this project was. I had picked up some of these books. I had seen this done a few years ago. And I said, I can do that. I can do that. I have everything I need. So I found me some Dr. Seuss books in my little bookcase. And I said, okay. So I went ahead and I took the pages out the way that we do like if you're going to do a little golden book, except in this case, because I'm using the spiral bound rings, I um, did go ahead and cut pages in half. I don't keep them as a signature, okay? Um, but I do keep the pages in order. So anyhow, I got everything cut. I did not cut the book until today. I was really nervous about it. Worried about my pages weren't going to fit inside the cover. Oh, yay, yay. Anyhow, I did it. And here we go. So you open it up and it is just like, whoops, a regular Dr. Seuss book. And then you have a few pages and then you have your Dr. Seuss page. And so that's the way the whole book goes. There's all kinds of paper in it for writing. But if you notice, the best part is that it lays flat. So you really can use this just like you would any spiral bound notebook. And the other part is you can fold it in half. If you're walking and talking and, and writing, you can actually, it's, it's solid. All right. And there's a lot of paper in here. I think I did like a hundred sheets, I want to say. So it's pretty hefty. Now, let me show you the rest of the story. And I really hope my computer's not acting up. I see my picture jumping a little bit. You know how it is. Technology. You love it and you hate it. So now this one I did. But this book was so, it had so many more pages in it. Just the book itself. And so I had to use a bigger ring. Well, my binding machine doesn't like anything over one inch. So this ring is like an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. I forget exactly. So it's kind of got a little bit of a flat side to it, which I do not like at all. But what am I going to do? I mean, it needed the bigger ring. But it too, it lays flat. You can fold it over. And yeah. So this one, I will sell this one for a little bit more than I will sell the other for now. These are the other two that I did, like the first one, all right? Um, again, had fun with them, wanted to do them, sat down, made me an assembly line, and did it. But then, I've always promised to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. Well, here it is. When I went to bind this book, I had already done the pages, didn't think anything about the cover. Well, let me show you. This cover is significantly, significantly, can't talk. This cover is so much thicker than this cover. So it would not fit in my binding machine. I even got out a rubber mallet and tried to pound it in there. No go. No go. And I have what I think, is, it's like an office binding machine. I would think that it should do something a little thicker, but it didn't. So I'm not a fan of binding things with these rings. I know some folks like it. I'm not knocking you. 
I'm saying my preference. They're, I don't know, it's weird to me. But that was the only thing that I could think up, think of in order to bind this book together. So once again, the pages are all in order and then there's some work pages in between it and it is what it is. Um, so to me, it's, it's a little different, but what can I say? <laughs> so anyway, that one's the good, the bad, and the ugly. But I really like how everything turned out. And I can't wait. I'm going to put them in my booth. at the. At, you know, I've told you before, I have a booth in Plains at the Antique Mall. I'm going to put them down there and see if I can sell any of them. And I'll keep you posted on it. So please, you know try it if you have some books it doesn't even have to be dr seuss books and of course it can still be with all kinds of scrap paper and stuff it's fun keeping the story together and if you you know you want to use rings or you want to use the binding system i also have ones that are the plastic rings too uh, <clears throat> excuse me i'm still getting over a head cold but um yeah give it a try so i do my best to put up a video every tuesday evening at 6 p.m eastern time you can find me on Facebook. I have a private Facebook. I have a group, a page. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and I do Pinterest. And I have a small Etsy shop. And if you happen to live anywhere in the Georgia area, mostly middle to north Georgia, I have teamed up with my friend Lori, and we're going to be hosting retreats in 2023. We've got three scheduled. I have all the information listed. And if you want more information on the retreats, just send me a private message on Facebook and I'll send you in the right direction. It's going to be fun. We've got all kinds of crafters, scrapbookers, junk journalers, people that sew. Um, I'm trying to think if there was somebody else that was doing something one day. I think she was painting. Um, so, yeah, come in and check it out. And, uh, you know, it's it's going to be for like long weekends and we've got three different places we're going to do it in but you know we would love to have you and with that being said i appreciate it and i'll check you out later see you down the road bye